Yo, what is up guys? It is Kobe bringing you another Black Ops 2 weapon breakdown and comparison video. Finally covering the 5.7 and the TAC-45. I've been seeing that in the comments on my, my last three comparison videos, so I'm finally buckling down and bringing it to you. But first, I want to quickly thank you for the awesome ratings and support recently. You guys have always been really supportive, but I just thought I'd thank you again. Uh, but yeah, let's get back into this video. So, both pistols have some pretty obvious similarities. You know, they're both semi-automatics, and they're the first two pistols you unlock. However, the differences between these two weapons are what really sets them apart and makes each one useful for different players and different playstyles. So, as always, I'm going to be quickly going over the stats and characteristics of these weapons and try to explain which gun I prefer in different situations. So, starting off with the damages, both weapons have a 55 to 19 point damage, which is 2 to 6 shots to kill. However, even though the maximum and minimum damages are the same, they're actually quite different. First off, the 5.7's two-shot kill range is like an arm's length away, a meter at most, so you can basically chalk it up as a three shots to kill weapon, while the TAC 45's two-shot kill range is like three to four times that distance, which is why the damage bars in the created class menu are just so different. Both of their three to four shot kill ranges are pretty much identical. The 5.7 has a slight edge in the three shot distance, but not by much. It also has a slight advantage in the five shot kill range, and of course, neither of these weapons will take more than six bullets to kill. Now, taking a look at the rates of fire, this is where you see like the first big difference between these two pistols. 5.7 fires at 600 RPM, while the TAC-45 fires at 515 RPM. And of course, both of these are semi-automatic, so this is their max rate of fire. You can obviously shoot it slower if you choose, but not any faster. If you have used these pistols, you know how much easier it is to shoot the 5.7 at a nice, consistent fire rate, especially if you have a fast trigger finger. But with the TAC-45, it shoots in like a really uneven pattern, kind of odd, and that's because it's really easy to oversample when trying to shoot it fast. If you're pulling the trigger faster than 515 RPM, the TAC-45 will essentially kind of lock up, and that's why it fires in such an odd manner. So again, if you have a fairly capable trigger finger, the 5.7 is your best bet. And it gets even better for you because the 5.7 holds twice the amount of bullets in its magazine compared to the TAC-45. And this is the one area that really hurts the TAC-45 because, yeah, it kills slightly faster up to a certain range, but the 5.7 holds twice the ammo and shoots a lot faster. And with this amount of ammo, you'd think the 5.7's reload time would be really high, but they're actually both pretty much the same, around 2 seconds. And you can easily reload cancel, you know, around 1 second in, so that's obviously really helpful, getting that quick reload time and that goes for both of these weapons. But when it's all said and done, I can't honestly pick which pistol I like better. I know it sounded like I was more in favor of the 5.7, but I always have a primary weapon on anyway, so I typically just use it to finish off an already weak enemy player. So in that situation, you know, the large two-shot kill range is very helpful, but at the same time, the 5.7 is just really fun to use. You can shoot it really fast and is really accurate. And if I was only running a secondary, I'd probably choose the 5.7, but again, it's really close, at least for me. So what do you guys think, and which weapon do you prefer? Like I said, I really can't choose his personal preference and how you play and how you use the pistols but again let me know what you guys think so that pretty much wraps up this quick video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have a suggestion for my next one leave it down in the comments down below as well you can support the video with a like that'd be awesome again thank you guys for the awesome ratings on all my recent videos it really means a lot to me i'm hoping i can start making more videos again you know i've been kind of busy with school i had midterms and stuff like that uh but it's kind of slowing down right now so i'll try to push out more content but uh, check out the videos on screen if you miss them and i'll catch you guys later peace